welcome to chemistry class okay so today we'll be doing derivation of a formula using the elements yes most times students wonder how we write a chemical formula yes it actually happens through the use of our symbols symbols from the elements by now you should be familiar with your first 20 elements even the first 30 elements they are symbols the atomic number the atomic masses and the oxidation number and valency so i'll be showing us steps to derivation of a chemical formula and we are going to do some examples on the board okay so let's go so from the for derivation derivation of a chemical formula i have about four steps here and if you follow me gently we are not going to have issues so we are expected to write the symbols of the element and all radicals yes radicals are a group of charged atoms then we are you all know what elements are yes so your chemical formula can either comprises comprise of elements or what or radicals okay then after that you write the positive value of the the positive value of the charge of elements or radicals yes you know radicals can either have positive or what or negative yes so even the elements also so we are expected to write valency for them but for radicals we just stay with the positive charge we change you we write the positive value of whatever charge that is on the radical okay then we will now exchange the charges by cross multiplying is a kind of cross breeding yes then we will now write the molecular formula okay so let's go and see what we have here so the first one that i'll be doing is i'll be doing something with sodium and no3 so i have for sodium i have one for no3 too i have one you know we have to write the positive even if the radical has a negative charge so we are going to do a kind of cross breeding something like this okay so at the end we have one one so you know any one no3 but of course we know that in chemistry we are not supposed to write the one yes so i'm going to write out the formula like any no3 yes do you get that okay so the next one i'm going to be doing is for ion and we know we have two types of ion you can either have ion 2 ion 3 yes so i'll be doing ion 2 and chlorine so and the charge on chlorine i'll change it to positive so i have something like this and something like this so i'm going to and of course we'll write the metals first so i have fe then fecl2 yes that's our ion 2 chloride okay so the next one i'll be doing okay let me make use of another radical again okay let me make use of calcium you have to co3 also you have to you have to write the positive so i have something like this i have something like this all right so i'm going to have ca2 co3 2 something like this but of course these two cross out yes so at the end of the day, i'm supposed to have ca co3 that's my calcium triazo carbonate four okay now i would like to use something different again i can use my magnesium equals to two and my oh equals to one remember we are writing the positive so we have something like this i have something like this yes 
So my magnesium has one. Yeah. Then my OH has two. So you do something like this. OH. Then you bracket into two. Yes. That is how to write it. Okay. So we are going to have a class assignment. Now you are going to write the formula for, you do for iron and SO4 for me. Yes. Then you do zinc and chlorine for me. That will be your assignment. So you put in the in the comment section of the school YouTube platform and do your classwork. All right, so we'll be going to other aspects when we meet. All right, thank you. See you some other time.